Hello, everybody, and welcome to another broadcast of No Man's Sky with Alan Paul. Uh, so, kind of an interesting run through today. We're going to start with the expedition number five. As you know, uh, No Man's Sky has done a redux of all the expeditions. A lot of us saw this coming, uh, knew that they were going to be doing something like this. So as the year has progressed, as we get to this time of year, they do two-week runs of each one of the expeditions from this year. So five, six, seven, and eight will be done in the next few weeks. So we're on expedition number five, and we're going to go ahead and get that started. Now I'm going to do this a little differently. I know that some of the gamers out there are doing speed runs, and they're doing, uh, you know, uh, they're doing the run in such a way as to make it very interesting to watch. We're going to try to do it a little more instructive, so that you can be successful in the speed run. Now I'm going to make mistakes. I'm not perfect by any means. I don't remember the speed run terribly well, but we're going to do the best we can. Now the audio, as you can hear, is just turned down a little bit, so you're going to hear some of the game music, some of the game audio. Um, uh, I'm going to try to keep it that way so that you can experience what I'm going through as well. So as usual, we start with a fresh game. Now you might see that I've already got the ex ex uh, exobiology run through here and that it took about six and a half hours or so. Um, what I did is I recorded it without audio from my microphone and I was going to go back and narrate it but I think I've decided I'm going to go ahead and go through it one more time and actually do the audio this time. The only thing is if any of you have watched my introductory video to my series you'll understand that you know uh, being as I'm with uh, an entire family full of people in this household it tends to make things a little difficult to record so this is being done as early as I can in the morning uh, while nobody else is up so if you hear any noise in the background it may be because people are starting to wake so hopefully we can get through at least stage one of the expedition um, so let's get started you'll notice that now that they have it running um, they've kinda messed things up in regards to the graphics over here I don't know what's going on but I think they that'll probably be uh, patched very soon uh, could be that they'll wait the nine days and you know call it at that point. So, anyway, so we're going to do Expedition Five Exobiology. Nothing special. Just click on it. Here we go. So, I'm going to open up the expedition as soon as we appear, and I'm going to show you what you're going to be looking at. Now, the starter system that we're going to be appearing in has a few planets on it. Uh, in it, pardon me. In those planets, they have no animals whatsoever. So exobiology being the study of animals, if you will, or you know, really any kind of animal, bird, fish, does make a difference. But it's focusing on acquiring pets and, and, and studying animals, feeding animals, uh, interacting with those animals in such a way. Uh, so that's what it's focused on, so you can learn as much as possible about animals and how you can interact and get pets and things like that. So. It's very interesting the system that you start out in a system with no animals in it whatsoever. There is no fauna at all. Really cool. So, but there's certain things you have to do. So we're going to initialize the expedition. And you're going to hear the audio. Everybody starts on the same planet. Everybody will be on this very cold planet. Everybody. Okay. You want to start out your expedition very similar to any other game in that you want to gather some resources to start with. You're obviously going to need carbon. got lots of trees around me. That's a good thing. Um, it's up to you if you want to have multiplayer turned on. I'm actually going to go into the menu and turn it back off again because <clears throat> we don't pe want people accidentally assisting us and helping us and giving us things that we don't need. You'll notice that the multi-tool is different than any other normal game. Not a lot of room in this multi-tool. Okay. And you always start out with a, as a separate creature. You, you won't start out as an anomaly or anything like that. So hopefully the audio isn't too bad. I think we're going to have to lower the music just a little bit because it's just a little bit too... There we go. Good gravy. I'll keep it at four, I think. Okay, we're also going to do network options disabled for now, because I really don't want to get that started here. So here we go. Now, 
you can see it's, it's view progress of expedition, uh, earn exclusive rewards, which is what you'll get along the way, follow the rendezvous points, exclusive expedition awards can be accessed on any normal save after that. So as you acquire the awards here, you can get them on any game that you start or any of your current saves completely. So that's pretty cool. So let's take a look at what our expedition looks like. It should start out on this page, but you'll notice it does have the extra option up here that says expedition, so you can literally follow this. Now, in the when I hit my escape key here to get into this menu, everything's paused, so I'm not going to start dying or anything like that. So you have five phases, including a final phase. So your five phases, you have to ride a companion, so you have to get a pet and ride it for 850 units. You have to locate your starship. You notice that these are not in any particular order, so you got to leave the planet, take a photo of the companion. They're not in any order. You'll get these as you go, but here's the thing. You have a couple of um, missions in each one of these phases that will be tough to get because you have to induce a companion egg. Whenever you acquire a companion, it takes upwards of 18 to 24 hours before they're ready to gestate, before they're ready to have an egg. So obviously you're going to have to wait a full day before you can do so. Keep that in mind. So you won't be able to complete phase one without waiting at least 24 hours. Phase two does the same thing, earn complete trust from a companion. That takes time, unfortunately. So you'll have to, once you get the companion, you'll have to keep bringing the companion out almost everywhere you go in order to earn the trust from that companion. Now I found something very interesting. You got uh, number three, you got to bake a cake, you have to gather three types of eggs. So you'll see an impr impress Kronos, he's over on the anomaly, which you can get right from the get-go. Um, searching through dung samples, yep, you got to search through their, food, uh, through their uh, poop. But here's the funny part. It says adopt companions, you have to adopt three. It says you've already got one. So you literally have a companion already in your inventory. So, very interesting. You'll have to ex excavate ancient bones at some point, be it a deep space entity or sentience in this case. You're going to be able to get these things fairly easily later on. But visit a world inhabited by 13 species, you'll be able to do that pretty easily. Ex discover an exotic creature, you'll be able to get that pretty easily. This one takes a little bit of time. Uh, five missions with an explorer. Um, discover four aquatic creatures. So keep that in mind. You're going to have to discover creatures. Earn 200,000 for discovering a particular creature. That means you have to have add-ons in your multi-tool. Things like that. Things you got to pay attention to. So keep it in the back of your mind. It says aquatic creatures, so whenever you find any planet that has water on it, try to discover some of the creatures in it real quick. It shouldn't take long. Four flying creatures. Shouldn't take long. Feeding a group of eight creatures at the same time. It won't be too hard to do that, believe it or not. But we're going to come back to here. Obviously, we can't ride a companion yet, or can we? Shall we find out? And you notice my bars have not gone down at all. Okay, so let's go ahead and get the carbon. I don't think, yep, our analysis visor is already working from the get-go. So go ahead and get the, it says primary on what, there's no secondaries on these. Um, so try to scan as many things as possible, because as you go, you're going to acquire other elements that you might need. Chromatic metal, holy mackerel. Okay, let's go ahead and gather some elements like we were. So like I said, we do need carbon, obviously. So I'm going to gather up as much as possible. Now we're in, I think, normal mode, hence the reason why we're getting so much carbon from one plant. So I'm already up to 130, look at that. Let's, how much does this give me? Eh, not bad, give me 30. I want some chromatic metal too, because we're going to need it later on. Because at some point, you're probably going to want to create a base. Normally, you don't have to do that, but I found it easier to do certain things when I had a base that I could get to. Now, our, unlike permadeath mode, our inventory should not be limited anywhere near as severely. Oh, what do you know? I'm going to put you guys over here, I'm going to put you over here. So they give you a refinery right from the get-go. Look at this, you've already got this, but you have to get sodium to recharge that. So let's put these guys somewhere where you can get to them. Okay, put you over here. I'll leave you there for now, that's fine. And so we're getting chromatic metal as we go. 
Starship we have no access to yet. Multi-tool, got some room, but not a lot, so keep that in mind. I'm actually going to move you down here because your mining tool is going to get upgraded pretty quickly here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and grab these because these should help, if I'm not mistaken, life support. Good. That will come in handy later on. All right, which way is my ship? Ship is over that way. Uh, let's go ahead and start heading that way. I need to start analyzing these things. And I need to get some sodium soon. Finding a cave would be a great idea. Because I would like to get some cobalt. We could use some oxygen, so grab the plants. There's no reason to identify it. I don't get a lot of money for it. <clears throat> we'll get money later. Money's not going to be an object. Even in the early game. Ah, I think we have a cave. Maybe. Nope, just a rift. So my voice is a little rough this morning. If it sounds a little bit deeper, I apologize or you're welcome. Depends on who you are, I guess. <clears throat> Wow. Uh, that's quite a view. Come on. Oh, what do you know? There is an observation tower over here. Not an observation tower. Communication tower? I think that's what they call it. Let's go ahead and head over there before we go to our... Ouch. Before we go to our ship. Because of this. I mean, you still do need money. And you know what? I just remembered, if I'm not mistaken... Yep, you can get a terrain manipulator, so I need two carbon nanotubes and dihydrogen. Which I don't have any dihydrogen at the moment, but we can at least get the carbon going. So let's get that done. I need two of them, stupid. <laughs> there we go. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'll be clearing my voice several times, I apologize. Dihydrogen scan. Really? <laughs> There's probably some really close by and it isn't telling me. Microprocessor. Yeah, I could use one of those. I don't know for what yet, but I can use it, I'm sure. This looks like it was trying to be a cave. I'd like to make some batteries. Oh, what do you know? No, it is a cave. Sort of. One of these wacky looking ones. Let's get in here and chill out for just a few minutes. There we go. Alright, let's gather up some cobalt. I'm not as concerned about the silver. We will need some later on in part of the expedition, so it's good to have a little bit, so kind of hang on to the silver. Don't sell as many of the minerals as you normally would in a normal game run. Try to hang on to as much as you can, because it, you just find out you need so many different things. I need to get some dihydrogen. Really bad. Of course it is. Uh, we're going to use that. Although we could use it later on, but yeah, it's alright. We're going to get some more in a little bit. I find that having the batteries is going to be handy. I'm going to get a, probably about 10 or 15 of them. Cobalt. Let's see how many batteries we can get out of this. Yeah, ferrite dust. How much should out do we have? Not a lot of ferrite dust. We need a lot of more ferrite dust. Well, we can make a few. Yep. 
get nine. There we go. So that's handy. All right. Go ahead and grab the marker. It's going to save us as well as get us uh, navigation data that something we can use. And I can't believe I didn't find any dihydrogen anywhere. Let me just take a look around because I would really, 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 really like to get huh, oxygen. Let's gather up some of this stuff. I could use it. So this is the boring part. Okay, sorry. Okay, okay, good. Alright, how'd we end up? Yeah, not bad, 300. 400. So I'm going to get 10 batteries for now. One more time. Come on. Got to be some. There's some over there. Okay, we good. Okay, let's grab the stuff over there. Again, your jetpack is in terrible condition. It literally is shorter than anything else I've ever seen in any start. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Let's get some carbon because I want to get you out of the way anyway. Now, I've been noticing that in the expedition here that the um, materials that you can get, like these, like the hydrogen fields, seem to be a lot larger. show you a little glitch because we really need to get some decent amounts of dihydrogen so let me get that one last thing over here which is the buried technology over here but I should have enough dihydrogen to make a one jelly see up oh, can make a few now it takes 40 dihydrogen to make one dihydrogen jelly, right? 40 dihydrogen to make one dihydrogen jelly. I'm going to keep saying that. Let's put a little. Don't need much. But yet, that should be 120 dihydrogen. If I process it, it'll give me 150 in return. It takes a little bit of carbon to do this, but it's worth it. Now I've got four. Now I do need these, so I'm going to go ahead and get as much as possible right now. Now I've got 200. This is an exploit, but a completely legitimate one where you're not really making a whole heck of a lot out of this, and it does take time to go through. So it's up to you to, to do this or not. You can go find your own fields, if you will, of dihydrogen to acquire what you need. But I'm going to choose to do this. And I'm going to make, actually, I'm going to make one more. No, I'm going to hold off on that. I should have enough to make life support. Careful. I need that last one for my multi-tool. And we're ready. So let's check here first. And nanites, right? Yep. Okay. And there's buried technology right here. How many did we get? One. 
one, two, looks like three. Oh, four, nice. Uh, this doesn't contain anything. This one does. We'll just get nanites out of it, and that's it. Okay. Let's head, back, head on to the ship now. So you'll see that my cold protection has dropped again. We'll use one of those batteries I just made. Yeah, it doesn't quite run very well on this type of terrain. Watch your jetpack. Grab, like I said, grab things as you can. Oops. Need to switch back. You're going to need that because you need to make a metal plate as well to repair your ship when you get there. And actually, when I'm thinking of it, I should probably be using my companion, don't you think? Now, I'm going to check my inventory. I want to make sure I can make creature pellets, because you're going to have to feed said companion. So since this is here, we're going to go ahead and grab it. Let's go ahead and see what our companion looks like. Oh my gosh. I'm going to pat him. Looks like he's already okay on the feeding side of things. And look at that, he gestates in 10 minutes. Okay, so I must have missed this at the beginning of the other game. I don't know why. Cool. I like him. Let's make some food. So we just go in here. You need carbon to make it. And there's your creature pellets. You make them five at a time. So I'm going to go ahead and feed them. Uh, give treat. There we go. And I just got full trust, too. Oh, what do you know? I'm going to go ahead and ride them. So here's one of the benefits of having a companion, is you can ride them. Now, you don't direct them like you do what you would anything else. You have to use your arrow buttons. In this case, it's your uh, WASD buttons to control him. And hit your W, and obviously to move forward, and he'll move forward slowly. So, But if just like running, if you hit your shift button one time, he'll move a little quicker. But use your arrows. Your mouse won't do anything. You can look around with your mouse, but he doesn't direct him in any general direction. I'm not going to gather any elements. We're just going to head straight to the ship at this point. Now pay attention, like I just missed something at the bottom right corner. There we go, recharge, and... Okay, so we're going to be using this guy. Oh, and hit your E button to dismount. Just keep in mind that you could fall a great distance, so be careful. So I have literally ridden almost 500 units on him just by doing that. So why don't we go ahead and go the rest of it? Pat him again. Ride. Let's get the extra 350 units. We'll just kind of go around in circles here a little bit. Look, we're already at 600. Turn completely. 700. We'll get the rewards in just a second. We're at 800, I guarantee you. And there we go, 850. So we are done with that portion of my mission. So we have already achieved several things. All right. And to dismiss them, you go back to your creatures menu. You can look at your registry if you wish. We'll check that later. Or you can dismiss your creature. And he just disappears and says a little quick goodbye. Bye, suit creature. It's not his kind of planet, too. It's a little bit uh, too cold here for him. All right. So we have a little bit of silicate powder. I don't know. I might hang on to that. We'll see. 
this, I got this. I'm probably going to go ahead and sell that for now because I really don't need it. This I could really use. This I could use. We're going to hang on to the microprocessors because we're going to need them to build certain things. Um, definitely need to get our suit upgraded. Okay. All right, that looks a little better. Um, I'll think about recharging. So let's gather up some items. And if you were playing in multiplayer, there'd be a whole bunch of people standing around here right now. Okay. There'd be other ships gathered around. It's kind of crazy. All right. So feel free to do the multiplayer thing. You can really have a good enjoyment, but this keeps my processor power running a little bit better. Um... I don't really need to do a way. Well, we'll do the waypoint anyway. I don't think there's anything nearby besides the um, transmission tower we were at. Uh, hydration. Always a minor settlement, and it's always bazillions of miles away. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Not really worth it. Let's go ahead and hop on the ship for now. Now, you notice that it's not doing anything other than telling you that something's broken. Now we have some pure ferrite from some stuff I've gathered. Um, so we need the pure ferrite. Let's just go ahead and do it real quick. Uh, we'll need a hermetic seal, a metal plate, and a dihydrogen jelly. And if I remember correctly... Yeah, we have plenty of dihydrogen. Metal plate. Now we do need a hermetic seal, but we need... Um, condensed carbon to make that. Let me see how much we're going to need. 30, okay. That shouldn't be hard. I could go looking for it, but hey, I'm here. We don't need much carbon in there, so I'm going to go ahead and reduce that. I need 30, so it's going to take 60 of this. Okay. Let's go ahead and get that going. All right, condensed carbon we've got. Carbon we've got. Let's pick it up. We don't need it. And back in the ship because we've got a storm brewing. Oh, we're going to have fun with that later. Don't worry. Uh, let's go ahead and make the... Okay. We'll have to make it in the starship. Our inventory is already full. Go figure. Okay. We should have enough to repair all this. And repair this. Okay, so let's move the shield out of the way. Um, these are supercharged areas. We're going to go ahead and leave them where they are for now. I'm going to put this over here. Put this down here for now. We'll keep the shield there, that's fine. Um, okay, oh gosh, I hate this design on this ship too. Alright, we'll get that up to charge. We're really low on tritium, but that's okay. So, our ship's ready. Now, before we get started, or go any further, let's check our expeditions. And you'll notice that we now have two that we can collect a reward on. Let's go ahead and grab it. So we get Unearthed Treasure times two, Creature Pellets times 50, so we got plenty of Creature Pellets now, and a powerful Mining Beam upgrade. Okay, so it's going to give you things as you go along in order to help you out. Now the mining beam upgrade is really handy because obviously it'll make it more efficient. Okay, you'll notice now we have a lot more of those, so that's good. Move you back down here. I think that covers it, and we have these two units which are nicely valuable. See? So we've got about 400,000 there. Okay. Let's get back in there. What else can we get? Let's get the next reward. We do have one more, too. So now we get the teleport receiver. You know what? I really don't care. You can do this if you wish. I wasn't as good about it, but I got storage augmentation for my ship. And that's going to be handy. So we're going to get more room on our ship now. And the only way to apply that is in the space station. You know, phase two has the reward. There we go. And we get Atlas Pass set and specialized warp blueprints. Ah, okay. So now we can go to any system we want. 
And you know what? I got through the entire expedition last time and I didn't need any of that, so... I don't know if we're going to worry about it. But now we have the ability to build Atlas Passes. I don't know how handy that's going to be. Again, I didn't really need it. So, um, Adopt a Beetle Companion will get on the next planet. Let's go back to Phase 1 real quick. We need to take a photo. And we need to lift off. So let's take the photo real quick. Now that we can. Um, that was a blueprint? Oh, it gave us all the passes. Alright, if you have Atlas Pass number 3, you don't need 1 and 2. Just recommending you get rid of those. There's a spot to put that. Here it is. I'm going to keep that on me, actually. And put this in the starship. Starship, starship. Keep these on me. Starship. Okay, I think we're good for now. Let's go ahead and use these. And you can see my life support's going up. Okay, not bad. Alright, let's go ahead and look for our creature. I don't know why that thing is going nuts over there. Take a picture. It doesn't have to be a great picture, you just have to take a picture. Unless... Let's get on him. I don't think that picture worked. Uh, X... Oops, sorry. There we go. There we go. Has to be while you're on him. Okay, good deal. Let's go ahead and get rid of him. Alright, let's correct, collect, correct, collect that reward. Okay, which gives us 500,000 units. See, like I said, money's not an option. You get Corvax words and standing increase. So you get 100 words out of the Corvax language as well. So now you can understand the people in the system a little better. Okay, so we're in pretty good shape here. Got everything we pretty much need for now. Um, I see something over there I want to grab. Trees in the way. Okay. There we go. And get some oxygen while we're here. Okay, good deal. Now we'll go ahead and get going. Okay, folks. On our way. So, first thing I always do, we're going to make that a hot spot. And there we go. Blast off. Okay. So like I said, all these planets are devoid of life. But you need certain things. So I've left my planet. So that's going to get me another ward. I'll get that in a minute. So I want to point out some planets to you here. So this one. Yeah, see, there's other bases by people. I gotta get far enough out where I can start looking at the planets. Alright, so we got a barren planet. It has cactum, cactus flesh, indium, pyrite, sodium. Kind of a handy planet to go to, but you know what? There's some better ones. Let's check that planet out. We got fungal mold activated indium ammonia and salt. Activated indium is actually worth a lot more. But there's also something special about the planet that has, and here's another one, activated indium. Uranium is very handy. I'm going to go to that planet, even though it's really far away, because it has items on it I need. I need uranium. I would like to get activated indium, but because it has activated metals on the planet, it means it's a storm planet, which means storm crystals. You're going to need those. So go to one of those planets, one of, any one of those two planets. But before we go there, I'm going to go to the space station, because I've got, I need some room. I've got too much space occupied in my inventories so we need to make some room in there go ahead and do this on occasion you might find something of interest that's worth it but I kind of get away from the traders after a while I just want to make sure I'm still up, headed towards the space station 
I kind of ignore the traders for the most part. Sometimes I go ahead and see what they've got. Now we don't have a lot of nanites, and because we can't discover any animals on any of these planets, we can't get a lot of nanites. They will give you nanites as you go anyway. Why would I want to land on a derelict freighter? That's not part of your mission in the expedition, so please don't look for anything. So now the space station here, you'll notice it's damaged, and a lot of people, the first thought they have is, oh, it's a pirate station. It's not. This is a station you don't run across very often. Cool music again, yes, I know. But you'll notice something. There's literally nothing in here. This is a derelict station. This is a void system. This system has nothing in it. You're not going to find any trading posts on the ground or any landing pads. Even a minor settlement, I can't believe I did that. Even a minor settlement will get you nothing. But they do have something in here. A trade terminal. So let's go ahead and sell some stuff off. We're going to get rid of the salvage data. We don't need it for now. We will need some later. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and gather it up. There's nothing else in here. I'm going to get Well, frozen tubers, I'll go ahead and get rid of. Oh, where's the... I must have put it in my starship. There it is. Projectiles gone. These two, oh, getting a little bit of a bonus out of them. Uh, I'm going to use that later. Let's get rid of the Viking dagger. We don't need it. Hang on to the processor. So we got 1.1 million so far. And we're going to buy some stuff real quick. Uh, we do need some wiring looms. I suggest getting, if you can afford it, get about eight of them. I'm not exactly sure how many I needed, but I'm going to go ahead and get the ferrite dust. That doesn't cost much. We're going to go ahead and get the cobalt. Uh, I don't think we really need that. We do need a couple of solar mirrors. I want to say two. Microprocessors, let's get a few more. Dioxide is good for recharging things, but not sure if I really, really need it. Let's get the chromatic metal, of course. You notice we're kind of getting low on units, but that's okay. All right, I think we've got enough. Yeah, let's check our inventory. So this is the exosuit. You notice not a lot of it went in there. It all went to the starship, but that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and put this in my exosuit. We'll keep these here. Goes my exosuit. We'll keep this here. I'm going to put this in my exosuit, and that goes in my exosuit. The rest of this can stay put. We could use some tritium, but not, we're not going to get any anytime soon. Um, it wants me to build a hyperdrive. We'll build that down here. We need chromatic metal, which we just got, and we needed five processors. That's why we needed those. Okay. But well, we got to charge it, so we need warp capability. How do we get that? You see, we already have warp cells available to us. We can build antimatter, so we'll go ahead and get it. We only need one. That's all you're going to need, and an antimatter housing. So go ahead and build your warp cell and drop it in there. It only gives you a small charge, but we're not going to be going far before we start getting really nice things. Okay, so no... Oh, we have one expedition we can get some money off of. Collect reward. So, launch auto recharger. I need five antimatter to get that. The two solar mirrors that I just acquired and a wiring loom. And it teaches us how to make the solar mirror, but we need gold. We'll get there later. Okay, so we need some more resources. So again, this is not a speed run in any way. There's not really much on the other side. Um, hmm, I just remembered something. One of the rewards you got was Atlas Pass. And I don't think I've done this yet. If you go down the side passages here, by the way, try to get the encrypted navigation data, you'll either get, nat uh, you'll either get nanites or the actual navigation unit. 
Let's see version 3. And I happen to have that. So what do we find in here? Plants. Well, it's not much. But what you can get from the plants is you'll get carbon out of them. So if you want to just get in here and get some carbon, it's up to you. I'll go ahead and just gather it. What the heck? Not going to get much out of it. Eh, I could be lying. Okay, I could be wrong. That was a lot more carbon than I expected. And all I'm doing is wandering around and holding down my button. So, how much did we end up with? Yeah, that's a pretty decent amount. Okay. Well, then it was worth it. I don't think there's anything on the other side. There is a transport terminal over there, but you haven't been anywhere, so it's kind of useless to you. But let's take a quick peek anyway. That way you know. Okay. Ah, nanites. Okay, we'll go ahead and grab those. See? Huh. Yeah, you shouldn't have access to any of this. So, that's very interesting. And it looks like we have another area we can go into. Let's go take a look. Ah, okay, this might be even more useful. Alright, maybe not. Doesn't look like there's literally anything in here except some chairs and lights. There used to be stuff on shelves like this. You can also get your first aid if your health got knocked down. Okay. Yep, there's nothing else in here. Okay, so not really worth our time. Unless you want to get the health back. Okay, moving on. So we're going to go out to that planet I noticed. I hate these tall ships, because the ship gets in the way of my view. Alright, <clears throat> let's head, is it this one? Nope, it's the far one over there. Baron, that's the planet we came from. Uh, there's a little guy over there, I think. Uh, yeah, that's the one. All right, we got to get past the space station first before we can engage our pulse drive. And it is very far away, I know this, but it, it's worth it. Now, you need your, <clears throat> pardon me, storm crystals because it helps you make certain things. Hmm. Do I dare? Let me see. Some of the derelict freighters pop up with items you can blow up and get materials from, but this is not one of them. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> there we go. So, the storm crystals, again, they're needed to make warp hyper cells. <coughs> which takes one takes to recharge a whole unit. You'll need two. Ooh, hello. Interesting. You know what we could use? It's not so much the silver, but we could use some tritium and some gold. I need 30 gold, and I just got a gold nugget. That's candy. Let's gather up some resources. You want to gather up some resources this is a good way to do it, friends. Especially if you're in a devoid a system devoid of any other life. Let's see how much we got. Plus the tritium hyperclusters, you can make into that. But hang on to a couple. We have 56 gold. I could use a little bit more. A couple hundred gold would be kind of nice. But I don't know if I'm going to get that much here.
I know, it's a little bit wacky watching me do this. Okay. There we go. More gold nuggets, that's good. You don't get a lot of gold from these, but when you get those gold nuggets, they're handy. Ah, see that one gave us almost a hundred, that's nice. I'm getting some platinum out of these too, that's good. Not that I need it. Platinum, I think, think is needed in this expedition. Come on. Okay. Hmm. Okay. I think that's good for now. And we get about 500 tritium. Just a little bit more. I'm not trying to be greedy or anything, but... Alright, that looks pretty good. That looks good. Okay. Let's head for the planet. There we go. Alright, looks like we might have a storm brewing. Storm crystals is what we're asking after. Now, hopefully you have some batteries, like I do. Watch the ground and look for electrified... I'm over water. That doesn't help any. Electrified crystals. There's one. See? You need those. And they're only present during the storms. Ah. Watch your radiation protection. The more you can get, the better. And they'll show up as a lightning bolt. away, but we'll have to head there. Now there's lightning that's hitting the ground near here, so you got to be careful. Ah, I don't know if I'm going to make that one before the storm's over. No idea what that was, except it might have been lightning. It's a big grouping of it. Nice. See what I mean? Gotta be careful. This terrain. Ah. Okay, it's done. So we can't get any more. How many did we end up with? 16, though. So keep three. And put that in your starship when you get a chance. Okay. Storm's over. I'm going to go ahead and use my sodium for that for now. Okay, so that was the biggest thing I needed was those storm crystals. Uh, am I going the wrong way? Ship over there. Okay, we are going the wrong way. Now, remember what I said about going under the water to find animals? Well, remember, there's no animals in the system, so don't even bother here. What we need to do while we're on our way back to the ship is look for uranium. Activated indium is handy, too, and I'll show you why later. Uranium. That's the one we want.
This is activated indium. Now hopefully these guys will leave us alone while we're mining. Yeah, it looks like they are. Okay. They don't care about these resources. If we mine crystals or something like that, they're going to come after us. You don't need a ton of this, but it is valuable. So I leave it up to you how much you want to gather. I'm going to go ahead and pause for now. And as I gather up these resources, and I'll show you what we'll do with them later. Okay, and we're back. So I'm just mining up some uranium now. I got about 400 out of the uh, activated indium deposit. And uranium is handy for your launch thrusters. Which, since this doesn't have the best launch thrusters in the world, we're going to be using it a little bit. So I want to get a few hundred of this if I can manage it. So you will need batteries, like I said. This, uh, I think you're going to need at least a half a dozen on the planet while you're here doing stuff. No more storms have come up. But again, I got 16 of those things, and they're very, very valuable. So you keep three of them for your own purposes. Once I hit about 15 on my manipulator, I'm going to go ahead and do some massive gathering because I need silicone and I'll just clear out this oh, let's recharge of this. Okay, I reached the bottom of the deposit. How much do we have? 364. I'd like to have about 400. Okay. So again, this is the boring part, but I figured I'd just finish this up real quick while you folks were here. How much are we up to? 445. Okay, that'll work. Let's put the silicone in here. Okay, we should be fine. crystal but we got enough and that was the purpose for being here okay we're done so we've got everything we need first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick this uh, uranium over in the starship oh I forgot what I was gonna show you I was gonna do with the indium let's go ahead and there we go. Let's show you. Real quick. A little bit of fuel. And the indium, indium, indium. Activate. So, like I said, I got about 400 of it. But see, it's got a 1 to 4 output for, chro for chromatic metal. We can get up to 1500 chromatic metal. We don't need that much. I'm going to go ahead and just get it started, and I'm going to stop at a few hundred. Probably about 500. But it doesn't take long at all. And not bad. Whatever's in there, once you pick it up, goes into your inventory. So, see, 600 chromatic metal. I think we're in good shape now. And the indium, we can just sell the rest of it. We don't need it at this point. So, that's what you do with indium. It's not a whole lot of money. I mean, they nerfed it pretty bad on version 4, but... 165 units each, so we'll get 50,000 out of that, no big deal. It's a little bit of something. Okay, so we're done here. 
<clears throat> Excuse me. Let me see what we've got. Uh, we need to leave the system. We have no other things to get here. We've got to visit a lush world. We have to induce a companion egg, which we will do at the next chance, and then go to rendezvous one. Okay, we should be able to do that pretty quick. So, let's go. We have just enough of a charge on our hyperdrive to get to the next system. Okay, let's follow the expedition path, as it says. And the very next one has got our... Um, rendezvous number one. So, that should be good. So we have to visit a lush world, it says. So this is a, a world that is like a paradise planet. Similar to that. And here we are. Okay. So there's our expedition from a verdant planet. That is actually the lush planet, if I remember correctly. That one over there is... Let me get back in this mode, because it's easier to focus on a planet. Uh, tectonic. That's a crazy planet. We'll want to go there later. That's for another option. And a paradise planet. So we can go to the paradise planet. I think that would be better. But before we do... <coughs> always stop at the space station first. Because there's a couple things we need to do while we're here. The first thing we're going to do is... We can sell off a couple things, but there's not much we need to sell except for the storm crystals. And we don't want to crash the economy, so selling off <clears throat> even that small amount of storm crystals, 13 of them, is going to be an, an issue there. <clears throat> Gosh, I hope I don't lose my voice. Alright, here we go. So we're going to upgrade the starship and apply the augmentation. So let's go ahead and put them right here because we need them both. I, I just don't like the way that looks. Let's get our suit up to par. Um, I think I'm going to put it here. I hate a hole in the middle of... There. That drives me nuts. Um, do we have any... We have no nanites. Does the reward give us any? Ah, a warp hypercore. What do you know? And you notice it was with the storm crystal. Okay, so we didn't give any nanites, but we got a pulse engine upgrade. Let's go ahead and put that in here. Yeah, okay, that's pretty good. Uh, what else? We got three warp hypercores already. So guess what? We don't really need to make any. But I am going to make one. And there we go. So we'll sell off the other 15 of these. We'll keep the uranium. Uh, platinum I think we can get rid of. Gold and silver to keep down here. I get those spots. Let's get rid of those three. Anything on our exosuit we want to sell? Indium, let's put it in the ship. Uh, we'll keep that. Chromatic metal up there. Okay. Alright. Um, well, we don't have any nanites yet. So, we'll get those later. Is there a ship that landed? I thought there was a ship that landed. Oh, that stinks. Oh, hey, look, a ship landing. Oh, I've got another ship landing right on top of me. What do you know? Alright. Let's sell some stuff. So by selling to traders, as we brought up before, it helps to keep the economy stable. Uh, starship, there we go. Platinum. Activated indium. Eh, it's a little less than we want, but that's okay. 
Uh, radium storm crystals. Here we go. So 3.1 million. And that was a nice boost. So if anything we want, ah, we could use some tritium. Thank you for that. I don't know why I did that. Don't worry about it. Pyrite is another booster for your, um, hmm, for your pulse drive. Might be worth it. There's nothing really here else that I want. You will need to build some stuff later on that's going to require salt. <coughs> Let's gather up about... That should be good. Just for some reason, I think we are going to need that when we build a certain thing. Oh good, it's in my ship right where I want it. Let's check everybody out, because i got a funny feeling some of these things are going to be useful. Okay, I'm going to get some gold. I want some phosphorus because I like a weapon that is useful with it. Let's get the ferrite dust because we always need more of that. I think we've got plenty of cobalt for now. We'll hold off on that. Okay. Let's go to the fighter because they'll have different items in his inventory. Yes, he has uranium here. And salt again. Alright. Don't think we need anything else right now. I think we're good. And let's just check the main one up here. I landed up on chairs. That's really weird. Okay, here we go. Hmm. Chlorine. I don't really need... Well... No, we don't need chlorine. We needed the salt. So we're good there. Okay. I think we're good. All right, no reason to continue in here. We're done. Lush climate is next. Let's just make sure my inventory is separated. We're gonna put this in my starship. Put that in the starship. I think we're good on everything else. Let's go ahead and get going. So we're gonna head to the paradise planet. Which I think is that one. Yes. Now, you could take advantage of somebody's outpost. Since we're not in multiplayer, that might be really handy. Looks like there's one over on the east, and there was islands over there that I think I'd like to go to. Let's go do that. Okay. Back to third person. Because if they have a landing pad... don't even have a landing pad. Okay, well, not really worth my time then. Alright, let's go ahead and, well, let's take a look around. Real quick. No? Alright. We've got plenty of water over here so we can find some marine wildlife. Let's head to a larger body of water. That looks good. That looks really good. Okay, we'll land over here. Eh, sometimes you never know. Okay. Did we get it? There it is. Let's go ahead and take that reward. Uh, collect reward. And we get some nanites out of it. Not many. And the planetary charts are about as useless as they come. We 
we've got to induce an egg and reach the first rendezvous. Okay. So let's get my companion. I'm going to talk to him. Pat him. And we're going to induce an egg. And we have an egg now. Okay. Now let's get my companion away. And we now have an egg in our inventory, see? And we're going to put that over in my starship. Uh, yeah, let's put these in my starship for now, because we don't really need them here. Okay. All right. Let's take a look around and find some life. Remember flying creatures. There's eight on this planet all total, and some will be marine. Okay, good. That's four out of eight. Check your discoveries, see which ones they are. Uh, we've got a ground and three more water. Okay. Let's head for the water. real quick. There we go. One. Two. There should be one more. Oh, it's like right in front of me. Three. Okay. <coughs> back out of the water. So we need to find one more ground creature and we'll get all eight. We're not going to see them while we're in the water though. Ground, 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 ground. Kind of keep to the expedition at this point. You should have enough minerals and stuff like that to do fine. So you don't need to gather any more resources for the most part, especially if you're on a planet like this. You know, by all means, you know, hit these things up when you can. Now that you have an Atlas Pass, you can get special things too. Yeah, like I really need one of those. Come on, one more ground creature. Ah, oh, there he is. plant life. Biological entity. Got it. That's all eight. And you get 2,000 nanites for that. So very, very well worth it. Let's go to your expedition. Let's claim the reward. We got 10 more batteries, which is great. 10 more life support gels and 1,200 condensed carbon. So like I said, you're not going to need a whole lot of resources at this point. So let's finish out phase one. Um, we just need to... We just need to land at the navigation point. It should pop up. There it is. So we're pretty much done with this planet. Okay, and how's my thrusters doing? Not great. Charge our pulse engine. Now you notice that somebody said on their base to feed in the photo of the animals and stuff like that. Well, this planet might have a lot more animals. We are looking for a planet that has at least 14 animals on it. So let's see what we got while we're flying. So we got to reach the first rendezvous. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Modified companion egg. Okay, we can do that on the anomaly. Eight creatures, four creatures. I've discovered one. Okay. No 
Okay. So once we reach this, we're going to go ahead and end this particular episode, and we'll pick up in the next one. Uh, bakery, eggs, milk. Nice. Okay, so looks like they have everything here. That's good to know. But I need to get to the navigation point. Um, it's setting me at a base instead. Alright. Now one thing you want to look for when you're coming in on a planet, because the rendezvous point is always going to be in a generalized area, so you got to find it. If I remember correctly, this was a huge base. A, uh, can't remember what the name of it is. And it won't f appear on your scanner. So it's going to tell you to land and look around. But try to look for other things. Save beacon. Yep, here it is. Archive. Whew, couldn't think of the word. It was driving me nuts. And all you need to do is get about halfway into the archive and... You could go underneath. There you go. See? Rendezvous one. Alright, so we've made it. Um, okay, and you get the reality ch glitch trail as part of your new uh, rewards. Hi there. It's about to hit me in the head. Yeah, let's just let him finish because that's an annoying noise. So, rendez so phase one is done. We're going to collect the reward. We get a thousand nanites of that. We get an exosuit expansion, multi two expansion, and storage augmentation. We get one of each. And because we completed it, you have to get the final reward, which gives you the reality glitch trail. Okay. So that ends phase one. So we're going to go ahead on to phase two, and we're going to complete some things while we're here. Uh, but we'll pick that up in the next episode. So we'll see you all in just a little bit.